There are people who think that a dick is something to laugh at, to ridicule. I do think it's quite fabulous. I mean, <laughs> I mean, can you just imagine that thing whizzing around the disposal? It's like yeah. hysterical. There are people who think that men's sexuality is something to laugh at, to ridicule. There are people who declare that male sexuality should be the same as female sexuality, or that there shouldn't be a difference. And if there is a difference, that we should remove that difference by declaring that male sexuality is based on rape, so it can be completely removed from the picture. Because equality, right? There are actually people who think that pumping young boys full of drugs is acceptable because in elementary school, boys aren't learning the same way as the girls. Because we revolve our education system around how girls learn. There are people who actually think that boys don't need role models. They don't need male role models. There are people who think that boys don't need father figures. No, no, it's just not needed at all. Why? Because boys are just supposed to know. They're also just supposed to suck it up and be men, regardless of if they know what that even means. They're supposed to just deal with it. And some of the reasoning that people will give for having that attitude uh, about it is that, well, you know, they say that they, uh, they want to just be men, so <laughs> we'll just let them be men, right? As if that solves anything. Yes, let's not try to give them role models. Let's just be angry when they don't turn out the way that you want. So we want them to be men, with them having no idea of what that really means. And then we wonder why their test scores are getting so low and why the suicide rates are so high. If many of the great minds that we can look at in history were raised the same way that boys are raised now, they probably wouldn't have been great minds. I think our current system has almost a form of a Manchazen syndrome by proxy when it comes to the way that it treats boys. And when some of the boys get a lot of attention for being problemed because they don't learn in the cookie-cutter fashion, it makes the social workers feel more important. There is a mindset among the educational community and some of the medical community that kind of looks at boys in a similar way that some veterinarians look at dogs. It's in a very clinical fashion. And in the case of vets, it's because they have to look at it clinically, because if they tried to, if they got emotionally attached, they wouldn't be able to do their job. But they look at it as, you know, like if they have to cut off a dog's balls, uh, they look at that as being rather trivial. They might say something to the degree of, well, you might see a slight change in his behavior, but he'll be back to normal in no time. When it comes to terrible ways that you can raise your kids and educate your kids, you have religious zealots on one side that teach that to think something sinful is a sin, and on the other side you have the current education and medical system that in some ways is like Manchazen syndrome by proxy. Here, let me smother you with help, because you need my help, you couldn't be here without my help, and you'll always need help, even if they're fully capable. It doesn't matter, we, we, we have to, to do right in this education system, we, we gotta look at them, we've gotta look at boys very clinically, and if they're not learning that the same way, let's pump them full of drugs. Then when you fail, I can tell you more about how, hey, look how much help is available. And yet none of it is truly loving, none of it is really truly personal, it's all very clinical and the social worker can feel much better about themselves. Not to say that there aren't social workers that really care, I'm sure there are quite a few that really care, but it's the way the system is, is lined up. It makes it so, it almost makes it so they can't care or they won't be able to do their jobs. And this is the way that boys are being raised. It's a problem, and it's going to be a very big problem when the people who are convinced they're not capable of doing big things get to the age where they should be doing big things. 
Our education system needs to adapt to children, not the other way around. We need to stop looking at children the way that many people look at pets.